Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the feast day of St. Philip Neri, the patron saint of joy. May St. Philip Neri teach us that true and authentic human joy is always rooted in God. And so to prepare ourselves to receive with joy this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength.
Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of Saint Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them and, because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household and many of the Corinthians who heard believed and were baptized the word of the lord thanks be to god the lord has revealed to the nations his saving power the lord has revealed to the nations his saving power sing to the lord a new song for he has done wondrous deeds his right hand has won victory for him his holy arm the Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has made His salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all you lands break into song sing praise the lord has revealed to the nations his saving power please stand I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us, A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said, A little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We are preparing for the great feast of the Ascension, which we will celebrate this coming Sunday. That is why our readings speak of the farewell discourses of Jesus to his disciples. In our account or gospel for this uh, morning, we will see the disciples asking Jesus the meaning of the words, a little while. When Jesus told them, a little while, you will not see me, but again, a little while, you will see me. What does a little while mean? Jesus is trying to teach his disciples that their grief, their mourning, their sorrow because of Jesus leaving them will only be temporary, a little while. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us today that grief, is always temporary. Sorrow and mourning, they are always temporary because they are human. They are from this world. That is why Jesus repeatedly tells them, it is only for a little while because joy is coming again. Joy comes from God. That is why it is eternal. Grieving and sorrow and sadness is human. It comes from this world. That is why it is temporary. Mga minamahal na kapatid, tinuturo po ni Jesus sa atin ngayon para po sa mga malulungkot ngayon, kung meron man sa inyong malulungkot, ang turo ni Jesus, ang kalungkutan ay hindi pang magpakailanman. Ito ay temporary lamang sapagkat ang kalungkutan ay sa mundong ito. Ang dala ng Diyos, ang dala ni Jesus, ay kasiyahan at kaligayahan ng puso. 
we see in the experience of St. Paul in our first reading today that even in his work of evangelization, of preaching the Word of God, there were episodes and instances that he was frustrated. Not everyone listened to St. Paul. In fact, in our first reading today, we see an episode medyo nag-init siguro yung ulo ni San Pablo dahil mayroong mga hindi nakinig sa kanya. But we will see that this human experience of grief is temporary. Because even if there were people who did not listen to him, there were more people who listened to his preaching. His grief was temporary. His joy was given by God. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Philip Neri. He was called an apostle or patron saint of joy. He consistently taught in his words that the joy of men comes from God. That is why in his preaching and in his missionary work, he would always smile. He would always exude joy because he said that the joy of humans always come from God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be taught today by St. Philip Neri to always take our joy from the Lord. Grief is human and temporary, but joy is divine and therefore eternal. Let this Eucharistic celebration turn our grieving into joy, turn our, our sorrows into happiness, because we take our joy from the Lord. Amen. Please stand. God offers us His strength in times of need. Let us pray that we may always rely on Him. For every petition, let us say, Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. That the Church may give courageous witness and boldly proclaim Christ's message to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn, Turn our, our mourning, mourning into joy, joy O Lord. Lord. That those who live in loneliness and despair may experience the comforting presence of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn, Turn our, our mourning into joy, O Lord. Lord. That those who feel low or depressed may realize the true worth of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord, that in their weakness the sick and the handicapped may discover the power of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord, that those who have gone before us in faith may meet the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. Father, full of goodness and love, look with mercy upon your people for their shortcomings. Sustain them in their trials and let your love come upon them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Philip Neri, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of Saint Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheney, Leta Alleluia, qui aque meruisti portare, Alleluia, resurrexi, sicut dixi, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Dei.